Two fish. I've got two fish at the same time. I've never done this before in my life. Look at this, guys. What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. I know it has been a couple weeks since you last saw me, and I will talk a little bit about why that is in this upcoming video right here. As you can see, this is a long one, so I don't want to waste a lot of time. We're going to head out on the water, and we're going to spend two days out there fishing. I'm going to catch a lot of fish for you guys in this one. Guadalupe Bass Smash Fest out there on the first day, and then on the second day, a bunch of top water hits, and then we're going to end the video with something absolutely crazy that has never happened to me before, one of the most insane catches that I've ever captured on camera, so make sure you stay tuned for that. But like I said, this is a long one. We've got a lot of fishing to do. I don't want to waste a lot of time running my mouth here in the office. Let's just get out on the water and start fishing. All right, there we go. There's a look at him. Let him go. Later, buddy. Had to cut my hook off. The fish was hooked so awkwardly that I couldn't get the hook out of him. It was like wrapped around his gill somehow. Good times. All right, there's the first little guy. Been out here all morning throwing the plopper. No luck. Like second or third cast with the fluke. Smack. Popped one over here in the shade, so. I don't know, man. Top water just might not be the game today. It's been a good hour fishing the 130 millimeter whopper plower not not one blow up not one single sniff of a whiff Was able to pull another one out of there. He was way up shallow. There, buddy. Wasn't the one I was after, but two fish makes a video. Both on the fluke. Look like I'm gonna have to abandon the whopper plopper. It's just not getting it done. They're starting to eat, man. Seemed like the fish kind of got a slow start this morning, but it's two or three bites there pretty quick on the fluke. Missed a couple. Caught that little guy and then got that one earlier. They out here. heard hardly any fish blown up today there was the first one right back there off in this little cut and i just missed one right here off this ledge I'm starting to get some bites here man been out here for a couple hours but looks like they might be starting to eat we'll see yep right there told you i wasn't even paying attention he came up and smacked it there's number three Boom, he hit it with the fury right here by the boat. 
Are you the dude that I missed just a second ago, man? You the one down there trying to eat this? Let me get you unhooked there, buddy. It's Guadalupe bass, number three on the day. All right, dude, get that second camera turned back on. Yeah, man, it's been a while since I've been fishing. Sorry for the lack of content here lately. Recently, I've been spending uh, some time with my family celebrating the life of my grandmother who recently passed away, moved on to the next realm. So it's been a tough, it's been a tough, uh, been a tough week here lately. Just been spending it with the family and, you know, doing the whole uh, grieving thing, trying to process the loss and deal with it. Everybody deals with grief and loss in their own way. And for me, it's uh, get off social media and go link up with the people who are really important family close friends that's what i've been doing man if you guys wonder where i've been recently lost my grandmother took a little time away from uh, the internet to process that and grieve with the family we're back out here fishing now so let's go i'm not trying to i'm not trying to drag you guys down with that but that is what's been going on so shout out to all the people that reached out and checked on me over the past week and sent you know kind messages and whatnot i appreciate you guys you're awesome had several of you guys uh, slide into the DMs and check on me, send me some love. So that felt good. That felt good, man. I appreciate all my friends here online for reaching out and showing love. Three piece and a biscuit so far, guys. Dang, these people's dock uh, appears to have collapsed. That's a bummer. This is a bummer, man. This is a bummer. He was bigger. Four is more. It's another guad. Guadalupe number two on the day. Four is more. I heard catching them on the fluke, man. Boom. I thought he was bigger. The way he bit it and then stopped for a second, I thought he was bigger. There we go. Oh man, it's just a little one. Dang. I need the big one. Dang. There were two huge largemouth chasing the fluke. So I've spot locked here trying to go back and get them. That's number five or six. Another guad. Yeah, dude, these two i don't know pretty big freaking largemouth chased the fluke right here by this tree and it was too late i was just reeling up by the time they saw it or by the time i saw them it was too late there we go Another guad. Dang! Smashing the guads today. It's number six or seven. I've lost count. I don't know. There's another guad. Dang. Let's get after it, man. Losing count is cool. I'm gonna stay grinded, man. There's big fish out here for me. I mean, I just need to come across them. They're, they were after it a minute ago, man. I just was reeling up and not even paying attention. I just need to come across a couple more big ones like that that want it. Come on. There we go, another one. Boom. It's starting to hit now. That's another guad. 
Dang. I don't know if I've ever caught this many guads in one trip before. Another Guadalupe. Boom. Smacking. Let's go, man. How many fish is that? I don't know. Six, seven, eight, something like that. It's good to lose count, man. Smacking them on the fluke out here today. Cool. Okay, so that was the end of day one right there. Guadalupe Bass Smash Fest. So many guads out there that day on the fluke. Had a lot of fun catching them, and they were blowing up with the aggression, absolutely hammering the fluke. It was awesome. Like I said at the beginning, I don't want to waste a lot of time. We're going to roll right into day two here. But luckily, in the second part of this video, I was actually able to get them to eat the topwater bait, actually come up and blow up up there at the surface. So we're going to roll right into day two now. Enjoy. There we go. First cast with a plopper over here, man. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. Finally, been making moves, trying to get hit. No bites yet today. Run up to this spot, fire one out, boom. First cast on the plopper. What's up, buddy? Nice. Came up and, sm came up and smashed on it, dude. Awesome. Boom. There he is. Tenacious little dude came up and hit the 110 millimeter whopper plopper. First one on the day, top water. All right. That gives me hope. That, that breathes new life into this mission, man. Been out here for a while with no bites. Was wondering if we were gonna catch any fish today. Bam. Roll over here, found one eating right off of this point fired up there and he smashed on it so boom finally some top water action Let's see if he's got a friend over there uh -oh. oh okay heck yeah dude first cast with a plopper plipping and plopping first fish on the day nice Number two on the plopper, pretty quick there. It's like a uh, nice, it's a nicer fish. Oh, Ooh, we got some sharp teeth. Let me get you unhooked, buddy. There we go. That's a little bit nicer one. Oh, he's mean too. He's biting me. Boom, second one on the day on the plopper. Up here in these trees, man, smacking. All right, how about that, man? That's fish number two on the day. Fish number, I don't know, eight or 10 in this video, man. A lot of guads yesterday. They're for smacking top water on the plopper today. That's a good looking fish right there, man. I'm gonna let him go. Get back out there, see if I can get me another one. Skadoosh. One last look at that guy. Let's go. Plopper fish. Let's get it. So yesterday I started out throwing the 130 millimeter Whopper plopper, threw it a lot and got no hits. So today I switched it up a little bit, wanted to still throw a larger profile bait, but I went with the 110, plipping and plopping. And we got two right there, man. Let's keep working these trees, see if we can find some more stashed away up in here wanting to eat. There we go. And a three on the plopper. Came up and smashed it. Come on, buddy, come out of there. Spot lock. Might be the nicest one of the day. Definitely nicest one of the day. Another chunk on the plopper. Came up and hammered it. Skadoosh. No mercy. Unleash the fury. Feisty boy. Got us a feisty boy here, man. This fish is mean. Third one of the day on the plopper. Let's see if we can get us another one. 
There's what he ate right there, man. A little 110, clipping and plopping, top water action. Doesn't get much more fun than this, man. Yeah, man, it's kind of seemed like the same deal as yesterday. First hour was really slow, nothing. You know, pretty much no bites. And then once the sun came up a little bit, made a couple moves and then smack fish. Dang, look how, how far back in here does this go? Go, 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 go. Still hearing them blow up out there towards the, the main point. A couple more casts along these trees and then I'm moving back out somewhere else. There's one. It's a little guy. Oh, and he came off. That's all right. He was too little anyway, man. He could barely pull it under. we go nice one blow up dude i wasn't even looking i just heard it you guys could see it oh and she spit it that was a big fish you guys could see it oh dang did you see her jump man and she spit it oh man at least i got to take a look at her god dang that one hurts boys wasn't even looking didn't even get to see the blow up god dang that was a nice fish too right there off of that point and i was looking back all of a sudden i just hear the explosion look up and my bait's gone fish on start fighting her into the boat and she jumped up into the air and spit it that was a nice fish definitely the best fish of the day probably three pounder dang oh well at least i got to fight her for a second There's one. Nice. Right off the point. It's a nice fish too. Getting some decent fish in here today, man. Not bad at all. <clears throat> oh, he tried to get me. Yeah, that's the third. That's the third decent chunk on the day right there, man. Yeah. How about that guys? It's another whopper plopper fish. I think I've lost counts like four or five. I don't know several fish today And a bunch of fish in this video man. I hope you guys are enjoying yourself. Excuse my beard This thing has a mind of its own out here on the lake in the wind, but uh, yeah, man. There's a look at that fish I'm gonna let him go Another decent Texas chunk out here on the plopper top water action. Let's go. All right, buddy. Let's get you back in the water You ready one two There he goes, he's good. All right. Let's see if he's got a hungry friend. Main Lake Points are the name of the game today. Wind blown Main Lake Points. That one out there, that one out here, all these little inlets, all the coves, nothing. But get out here on these Main Lake uh, Points where the wind is blowing. Firing that plopper up there and skadoosh. You guys are seeing it, man, we're getting we're getting work today. Oh, look at that. Uh, that bird up there has a little fish in his mouth. You can see the fish shining. Oh, he's eating it. Oh, he just swallowed it. I like this wildlife stuff. It's cool to me. He was like, had a little fish. And it was like shaking it in his beak. And then all of a sudden, he just gulped it. He gulped it. Oh, just had one blow up on it. I wasn't even paying attention again. But I have one hit it there. There he 
is. Came back for it. Boom. Nice. Awesome. Man, it's so cool watching them come up and smash the top water. That's a Guadalupe bass right there. Nice, dude. So cool. When they come up and eat that top water, man, it doesn't get much more. It doesn't get much cooler than that. Oh, he tried to bite. He tried to get me with them troubles. I need you to calm down, sir. There we go. Boom. And we don't stop. Let's look at that guy. Guadalupe Bass. State Fish of Texas. Everybody go down below. Smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe for that Guadalupe topwater fish out here smashing. I want to talk to you guys really quick about topwater. Throwing topwater at the end of summertime. Do not overlook it, man. My favorite time of the year to throw a topwater bait is the end of August all the way through into the colder months, man. If you guys don't throw a topwater in the fall time, you are slacking. You need to make sure you get out there and do that because the potential to catch a big topwater fish is absolutely there in the colder months so don't sleep on the top water in the fog as i was saying don't neglect the top water baits out here in the colder months man it's september and the top water bite will continue through the colder months i promise man there's another one out here smashing them today top water let's get it i caught a bunch of these little guys yesterday right on man let's let them go all right buddy thanks for the fight have a good one yeah, that dude came right off of this ledge there's a little drop off here I'm just running it right along this rock wall, and he couldn't resist, man. We gotta make sure that it doesn't get cut by zebra mussels. There's a bunch of zebra mussels right here, everywhere. Don't want my boat banging against the rocks. We are close, boy. Uh, might as well make a cast while we're over here. Yep, guys, as I mentioned earlier, moving up into the cuts is just not paying off, man. Seems like I'm almost wasting time doing this. Every time I push up into a cove, just the bite dies off. They're just, the fish are out on the main lake points. But when you see something like this, it's hard to pass it up because you never know when there could be just a a lone wolf hanging out somewhere <laughs> just like that like I was saying man I had a feeling it might pay off it's another guad so buddy I'll take him Water bangers. Bam. Another one. Pretty color on that guy, too. Out here smacking them today. Losing count. I don't know what number that is, but we smacking them. Later, buddy. Too much fun. Too much fun. It wasn't a lone donkey, but it was a fish up in there. Another one. Right off of the point. Just a little dude. Is it another guad? It's another guad. Tenacious little Guadalupe bass. Little bitty dude. Got thrashed up. What are you doing, bro? Sorry for the wind noise. I wanna show you guys this. It's a tenacious little Guadalupe bass right there, man. Beautiful fish though. Later, buddy. right there i wasn't even paying attention he came up and smashed it dang 
scared the bejeebus out of me, man. Come on up here, buddy. It's another, it's another guad. It's a nice one, too. Well, you're all kinds of hooked, man. Let me get you, uh, boom. Somebody go down below in the comment section and tell me how many fish that is, because I have, your boy has officially lost count. Boom. Fish number whatever. I don't know. There's another one. Smagak. Smagak. Guad City. It is Guadalupe season, man. They are out and they are eating. That last one was a pretty good size. Nice little chunk of a Guadalupe bass. That's the end of the day. I'm trying to get one more before my battery dies on my GoPro. I'm running out of memory and out of battery. There he is. <laughs> Called it. Soon as it hit the water, he came up and smacked it. Now, is it a guad or is it another largie? Let's see. What do you guys, what do you guys think? I'm betting guad. I'm betting guad. Just by the way he hit it, I bet it's a Guadalupe. Sure enough, another Guadalupe bass. Awesome looking fish. Came up and smacked the plopper. All right, camera did die on me there just as I caught that fish, but I found a secret stash. Extra battery and memory card. So we got the camera fired back up. Let's see if we can get another one, man. We're out here catching fish. Why not, man? We're just gonna keep rolling. Let's see if we can get another one. Let's go. Had a little dude come up and pop it. It's a little bluegill or something, or small bass. Pop, pop. There we go. Seems like a decent fish. Come out of there. He's fighting. He's in the tree. Come on, buddy. Nice. He might be foul hooked. He's fighting, come up here. Seems like a decent fish maybe. I don't know. It's two fish. I've got two fish at the same time. I've never done this before in my life. Look at this guys. Two fish on the same plopper. Oh man, I've never had this happen. Dude, this is the first time I've ever doubled up. Look at that. Freaking double ups, dude. Awesome. Dude, I've never had that happen before. That is crazy. Add two more to the pile right there. I'm so glad I kept my cameras back on for that. That is epic crazy. You can see the big female and then a small buck there. <sighs> Let me get my boat out away from the rocks. That is just too awesome. There we go. Look at that, dude. Double ups. <sighs> I gotta get the big camera out, man. Never had that happen before. Chill out, I'm gonna unhook y'all. I'm gonna unhook you. Crazy dude, two fish at the same time on the same bait. That has never happened to me before. All right, now I gotta, all right, all right, all right. Let me, let me get the fish. There's Big E. Go ahead, toss her in the box for just a minute while I get this dude unhooked. All right, there's the buck of the two. There he goes. Oh, there she is. All right, let's look at that one. Biggest fish on the day, and it comes on a double up. Two fish on one plopper. Man, I couldn't think of a better way to end the video, man. That is awesome, what a catch, man. Excellent, there she is, man. It's a nice fat chunk. She had that bug down there with her, and they both came up and ate the plopper, hooked up at the same time. I didn't know what was going on when they were on their way to the boat. I knew it felt funny. When they came up and I saw them, I got super excited. That was awesome, man. Two fish on one plopper. It was the first time for everything, and that was the first time that that has ever happened to me. I'm gonna get this fish back in the water, let her get back down there with her, uh, with her 
buck. And uh, yeah, dude, wow, awesome. There it is, man. One last look at that donkey, sweet. that was guys and I think that's gonna be a good spot to go ahead and wrap this one up man what an awesome day out here on the water awesome two days really thank you for joining me today and yesterday out here on Lake Travis catching these large mouth on the top of the water smash them on the fluke yesterday they're out here hitting the plopper today man could not get them to hit this thing yesterday but today they're smashing on it two at a time even crazy go down below click the thumbs up button and subscribe so you catch all my future content i put out new fishing videos on this channel all the time i would really love for you guys to join me on my adventures out here on the water smashing largemouth but like i said man that's gonna do it for today thank you so much for tuning in much love i'm gonna dedicate this whole video to my grandmother who we recently lost to cancer cancer sucks man i know that there are people out there watching my channel who have um, dealt with similar circumstances in their own life and i just want to send this video out to you as well much love to you losing a loved one to uh an illness like cancer can be uh devastating and uh i just want to uh you know if there's anybody out there going through something similar, man, I just want to say that I'm here for you. Reach out to me. Send me a DM. I respond to everybody. <sighs> Anyways, man, that's going to do it for today, man. Much love. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you out here on the water on the next one. Peace. Pop, pop. There we go. Wow. Oh, it's two fish. I've got two fish at the same time. I've never done this before in my life. Look at this.